County Mitchell Young is on trial for killing a Farmington Hills father, but was he involved in the alleged attack out of fear? That's the picture his attorney seems to be painting today. Seven Action News reporter Smitha Koloki is following the trial. Smitha, what's the defense saying here about attacking out of fear? Well, Alicia, Mitchell Young suffered a dislocated jaw during that deadly attack on Robert Cipriano last year, so his attorney seems to be suggesting that it was Tucker Cipriano who hit Young with a bat, with Tucker telling Mitchell that if he wasn't with him, then he was against him. So today, Sergeant Richard Webby took the stand saying there were inconsistencies in Young's statements, particularly about how the two entered the house and what happened inside. Now, the two men are accused of breaking into the home and beating Robert Cipriano to death. Rose and her son, Salvatore, were also brutally beaten with a baseball bat. The sergeant says Young claimed he was told by Cipriano to take care of the mother, but the policeman also said the defendant's demeanor raised some eyebrows. It was the total 180 and demeanor that caught me off guard from I'm about to cry, I can barely walk, I'm so upset, and then it's like a switch flipped and it's kind of like, so off the record, how do you think I'm doing? How's it going for me so far? Now, earlier this month, Tucker Cipriano pleaded no contest in the case and will serve a life sentence in prison. We, of course, continue to monitor this trial and we'll bring you updates both online and on air. Alicia, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Mita.